So, like I said, um, uh, I like to wear running and biking shorts for my triathlons, um, just because then I don't have to transition or take the time in my transition to switch out like biking shorts into running shorts. This is used for both. Um, you can see clearly you've got a lot smaller of a pad on these ones compared to just regular biking shorts. Um, and then of course you can see the pad size difference. This is the regular short. These are the both run and bike shorts. These are the shorts. Um, there's not much padding in the butt. It's not going clear out here. Um, and it's a lot less through here. So there wouldn't be any chafing if I'm running in these shorts, which I'm going to do for my first race. And off I go. <laughs> okay, time for part two. Uh, just doing my run, but my husband was super nice and he switched out <laughs> switched out my laces for quick laces. That's another way I save time on triathlons. Is because you don't have to worry about tying your shoes. You just slip in your foot and pull the elastic tight, or you already have it tight into where you want to be, saving time. Well, I'm done. That was rough. I did a 10k, but hey, I got a PR, and I'm super happy about it. If my watch decides to load, um. It was 55 minutes and 34 seconds with an 8.57 average pace, which I am so stoked about. And I really hope I can do that for my race next week. Um, but hey, you know what? I got a PR and I'm super stoked about that. I also did really good on my bike course. So yeah, one week away and I'm in a good spot. I'm excited.